I bought the rights to the worst rated video game ever made in history. And I fixed it. All that coming up before our special message for today's video which is brought to you by Opera GX. Opera GX is a cutting edge new browser that's basically specifically made for gamers. We've talked about this browser before on this channel, so I'm sure lots of you are familiar, but I just can't resist talking about it again because of how innovative it actually is. The problem with traditional browsers these days is that they just don't have the features that allow your experience to be the absolute best it should be. Things like an accessibility sidebar where you can instantly manage your Twitch and Discord messages, and if that wasn't enough you have something called the GX player where you can use to log into anything like Spotify, YouTube music and have all the available media right at your disposal whenever you want. GX control which happens to be my favorite feature of this browser allowing you to be able to actually enhance and control as the name suggests the amount of CPU computer usage your browser is taking up. This also comes in with a built-in network limiter as well. Of course, you don't want to be clogging up your whole network trying to load in all the epicness that exists in one of these videos, for example. Not to mention the nearly endless amounts of customization you have with Opera GX. You can choose your own neon lights theme, your background colors, wallpapers, GX Corner, which allows you to stay up to date with all kinds of free games, and whenever there's a game deal coming out as well. And all this along with a built-in VPN. So basically the icing on the cake. And don't worry for all the phone users, because I know that's most of the people on YouTube. They have an app as well. So go down a couple inches into the description and use my link to get Opera GX right now. Well, now that we have that over the hill, let's get into what we did today. Welcome to the Tech at Realm. And my name is Dallas, aka Inferness. It's always fun to look over the worst rated things of certain things, and games, nonetheless. Especially with this particular game that I found. Now this game was so horrible that I actually believe that the space and time continuum pretty much tried to erase it. So originally it was on Steam under the name of The Space Adventure Untamed, an infinite realistic space simulation game for $29. That's right. So here's the original page. And as you can see, well, some people had some choice words to say about it. We're gonna get into that real quick, don't worry. But first, have you ever wanted to explore the vastness of our great space? Of our great space. Have you ever wanted a way to see the beauty of it all? Space Adventure Untamed provides an endless world of challenges and obstacles as you venture into the most realistic, the most realistic space experience you've ever seen. You will love the never-ending feeling of obsession with this game while you play. What is at the edge of the universe? You must keep playing to find out. Multiplayer coming soon. Listen to me. Features the most detailed and comprehensive simulation of outer space. I need a drink. It's gonna be a long video. Many options. <laughs> Many options. Never-ending fun. Interface. English. French. So, this game was rated the lowest out of any Steam game. It's at the absolute bottom of, of the list. At a modest 0.1% approval. At a rating of overwhelmingly negative. So what went wrong, you might ask? Let's find out. It's... Dog water. Regret. So bad, I accidentally ate my grandma's ashes. Playing this game hurts more than when my wife left me. Can I get a refund? I mean, it's kind of decent, but why does it have to be $30? It was made in five minutes. Probably a Bitcoin miner. There is literally no point to this game. Why on earth is it so much money? I'm reporting. Found more enjoyment reading the reviews than playing the actual game. So, since the Steam game was taken down for random reasons, probably having something to do with policy violations... Well, the only place that it was available after that was a thing called GameTop. Not GameStop, GameTop. Where it averaged 0 stars and .21 out of 5 rating. Even for free. Man, people really do not like this game. It's not like it's that bad. Right? Okay, let's play the game. So I downloaded it. I did not pay $30, though. But there's a whole lot of reviews for this thing. It's actually like, what the heck? 
Do you know how many people actually- There's no way they made that much money. Made with unity. It's always a great sign. I'm not even being sarcastic. There's lots of games that are great. That were made with unity. What's going on here? Um... Oh, freak! <laughs> oh, God, dude. Okay, well... That's probably one reason. Okay. Um... Is this... This is the game. Oh, that was a close one. Well... Have you ever wanted to explore the vastness of great space? Alright. I understand now. With that being said... I contacted the developer and negotiated to buy this. And the total asking price ended up being $250. The moment we've all been waiting for. So I purchased it. He basically sent me all the login info for the pages and that remained up about the game and the source files for this amazing masterpiece. All the copyright officially belongs to me. But that's not good enough. It's time to get to work. I want to turn this game into an absolute Breathtaking masterpiece from 0.21 out of 5 to a 21 out of 0. Now the first thing I wanted I wanted to do was add some actual good some actual goal to the game because well this is basically just subway surfers except minus the subway and the surfing and the effort and the enjoyment and the everything else in the whole universe. I just came into contact with the first option that I thought was the best candidate who could spice up this game. I essentially just told him that exact thing. There's something so off-putting about it. It doesn't- it's not bad. It's just... It's just not- it's just not anything. What am I even trying to do? <laughs> so when I got back off of Fiverr, after a brief exchange with one of their top talent, I asked them for a better look, so better graphics. I think it's still made off Unity. Um, let's see what we have here. Now, this... Oh lord. Okay, here we are. Oh! oh Jesus Christ. Well, they did not <laughs> take care of the sound. Alright, oh jeez oh, Louise, I'm going around in circles! He definitely made the resolution not work. He, so... The d developer off Fiverr was like, you know, this is, looks like it was made for a freaking Nintendo DS Game Boy. Let's just zoom it in and not do anything else. Okay, I can't even see the controls, the options. There, it said there was many options on the Steam. On the Steam. <laughs> and there's no options! What do you even mean, like, there's many options? Alright, we can move. It just spurts a red line out of our behind. Looks like all they really did was just remove the asteroid. So basically, this looks a lot more pretty. Like, you could see the lighting effects of the galaxy hitting the thing. I could see that's where the source lighting is. And this looks like they used nothing but mesh textures, but it is higher res. I can't see how to fire because it's cut off by the screen! Alright, so looking like we're just in an empty skybox with no... with nothing else. What are we gonna name this game once we finally get around to making it work. I'll call it... The Space. Take a shot every single time something goes wrong in this video. I'm already out. I'm not gonna be so <laughs> by the time. Um... <coughs> Look, it's always a customary thing to go on Fiverr. Right, so now I went and got to work myself. I took my skilled hands. I'm very saucy with them. And I went to work. The thing about ga making games is it's kind of like a two-way street. It's extremely hard, but it's also extremely freaking easy too. Sometimes all, all the work's cut out for you, like particularly this game was already made on Unity. It used a whole bunch of packages which were already available off of the Unity store. Most of them weren't downloadable again anymore because the game is so old and horrible. So, okay, now what we did first was I installed a lighting mechanic. So basically it's going to like emulate what you get in the terms of the lighting of like Unreal, the Unreal Engine. So Unity has actually pretty good capabilities of handling lighting. The physics, 
I kept the same. And overall, I just wanted to fix the camera panning mechanism so that essentially the game could work formatted for any screen size. So really just going back and forth with a couple people from Fiverr, most people replied saying, we cannot help you. So I had to find someone... <laughs> So I had to find someone who could do something about this. And it turns out that this wonderful woman over here was able to do something. And what they gave back to me was something that I thought was actually pretty breathtaking. We, we, we officially had a new addition to the game. It was kind of like a multiplayer-esque type of con construct to it. It's like you had two sides. Empire and not Empire. Or, uh, or, uh, good, pe good people. It was almost, like, cut out so that the framework of it could actually end up being multiplayer. Like, if you wanted to, like, release it on Steam. So, I actually took the liberty of going on Steam and releasing it. It's, it's just private, of course. You need to actually pay, like, it's like a hundred dollar fee in order to publish it on Steam. That's not saying much. The original game, which was the, the Space Adventures, was thirty dollars for every person. It now had an open world. So it's like an open, large space thing, instead of just one skybox where the, the thing is just stuck in there. And let me just play the game for you. Here, as you can see, we have like a framework for multiplayer. And actually settings, you know, we can see... Uh, we, we have a real graphics framework going on here. So you could choose your team, Empire Rebels. I'm gonna go with Empire. The same exact mechanics as you can see so now the rendering of the spaceship itself is a whole lot less detailed it's not just a bunch of mesh textures put together it's kind of blinded by the light wrapped up like a douche in a rumor in the night this way the unreal rendering type lighting will make you blind so you cannot see how bad everything looks it's kind of like the way people make optimized GTA San Andreas by just making and bloom textures. Crack. So right now we're in, I think, this ship. So you no longer spawn... Okay, now we're outside. <laughs> Here we are. Uh, we no longer spawn in the middle of some random space. If I turn around over this planet. From the first version of Space Adventures. Here, look, look at this lighting. If I could just find... Uh... Oh, there, there we go. I believe that dark shadow with a light coming out of it is... Indeed. Oh, frick! <laughs> what just happened? Oh my god, I just ran into my own ship. We can go down to this planet, for example, and explore. These are also uh, default planet templates. We're basically just recreating No Man's Sky all the way. That's pretty much what this is. Like, Still, the movements are kind of funky. You, you still only have like the back and forth left and right type things you had in the original. The bloom is so cool, it really reminds me of some like space engine. The fact that we were able to turn the original game into like an actual No Man's Sky candidate. This game would have probably, if it was released like this, gotten better reviews than No Man's Sky when it was first released. <laughs> Let's take a nice smooth landing here, yep. Welcome to Ryanair. We are here. Okay, so you see that ship out there, if it blinded by the frickin' humongous sun. That ship is our... is our... It's our ship. <laughs> that is our mother ship. We can go up... See, look, it's crazy, because, like, it's such a huge map now. It's like, there's so much... You could actually have so much potential in exploring. If you could optimize, like, the visuals on the surfaces of the planet, and have, like, AI. We're gonna go to Shrek's planet. Man, this looks so frickin' amazing for what it turned out. Like, I know, I know you're like, what are you, crazy? This sucks. But like, listen, the fact that it went from this... <laughs> to, so shut up. What do we have here? We have something on the surface of this planet, apparently. What is that? A tree? Oh, we got trees on this planet. But maybe for a second video, we can actually do something with this game, release it, and see what people's opinions are about. Maybe we could have like missions or something going on here. But yeah, this is the space. <laughs> The space. So I will say that is a round of applause from me, for sure. I wouldn't say that we were able to completely perfect the game, but it definitely is, it's an improvement, that's for sure. So, all right, well, that was just a small experiment for today's video. If you are interested in games and being on the internet, which, since you're watching this video, if you answered no, then you're just kind of wrong. You need to go and download Opera GX. 
because it's the gaming browser, which also has a built-in VPN, as I mentioned. I'll see you later. Thanks for watching this really rather spontaneous video. Goodbye.